From our Low Country newsroom, a firefighters in the Low Country noticing a concerning trend of people burning trash and yard debris to close their too close to their homes, I should say. WSAV's Joseph Leonard spent the day talking to firefighters about the dangers that will come with that. He joins us now with what they have to say and what they want you to know. This time last year, the Burton Fire District says it only reported four brush and trash fires, but that number has skyrocketed by 250% so far this year. That's concerning firefighters who say these types of blazes can get out of hand quickly. If you think the fire is getting away from you, call 911. Let us get there. Let us put the fire out. Don't, don't sit there and try and deal with it for 5, 10, 15 minutes, and now we've got a major fire we have to deal with. That's been a big problem Burton firefighters have noticed over the past few weeks. More people are burning their trash and yard debris. And while they might think they're being safe, all it takes is one gust of wind to take those embers and spread them across your yard. They're burning relatively in a safe area and in a safe manner. But again, those weather conditions, the wind will blow it to a completely different direction. And so they're unaware of what may actually potentially happen when those wind conditions change or wind direction changes. Some of these fires are starting near mobile homes. That's even more dangerous because if they catch fire, it can spread from room to room much easier. And it's not just the flames itself, but sparks and embers can land on roofs, can blow into windows, can land on wooden porches, and it can be a very bad day. Burning your trash might seem like an easy way to get rid of it, but not only is it illegal, it can spread quickly and it's not safe to breathe in those fumes. When you burn trash, it breaks down to its chemical composition and that's what's in the smoke and that's what you're breathing. So you're breathing toxic smoke and possibly carcinogens. It's not healthy to do. Uh, it can cause you respiratory issues and if you have respiratory issues already, it could exasperate it. And if you think you fully put out a fire, think again. Make sure you soak it several times and leave no flames left behind. Ashes can smolder for up to eight hours. So all it takes is a gust of wind in the middle of the night and we've got the fire going again. So you really have to make sure you soak the area thoroughly. You stir the ashes around, soak it again, kind of keep an eye on it for a little bit to make sure it's thoroughly extinguished. Hard to have working smoke alarms in case a brush fire spreads to your home or one starts inside. You should be checking them monthly. If you need free smoke alarms or need firefighters to come check them, call your local fire department. Joseph Leonard, WSAV News 3 on your side.